Glory, 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 hallelujah. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And I am so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. Today is always a beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord for every last one of us to continue to seek Him in His kingdom, to put your faith and trust in Him each and every day. No matter what the situation or the, or the circumstances look like, always praise Him, always glorify Him, and always lift His name up high, no matter what. And I just have to be honest with you, my brothers and my sisters, no matter what we go through, no matter what we face, we still serve for God is still on the throne. He's still performing miracles and wonders right now today. He's on our side because he is for us. Who can ask or be against you? So no matter what you're going through right now, no matter what you're facing right now, and I know some of us right now are going through a little hardship right now. We're going through a hard time right now. We're going through a battle right now. But no matter what, we serve God. He already have a strategy plan for every last one of us. He knows exactly what we're going through. But in the midst of all of that, what we're going through, we're still praising Him. We're still seeking Him. We're still worshiping Him. We're still on our knees each and every day, praying every day. We still open up our Bible to hear a word every day. That right there moves God right then and there. Because we're not, we not crying about it. We're not blaming nobody about it. But we're still praising Jesus. We're still seeking Him. And we're still glorifying His holy name right now today. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we want to say thank you. Because we know that you're awesome. We know that you're mighty. And we know that you are able to turn our situation around right now. It don't take but a microsecond from you to turn our situation around. And we believe right now that was exactly what you're doing for every last one of us right now. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. In today's text, is coming from John 3.16. That's John 3.16. And today's lesson is unwrap your gift. My brothers, my sisters, every last one of us have a gift. That's one thing that Jesus endowed in every last one of his children. Every last one of us have a gift that he endowed in us. That is a promise. And my brothers, my sisters, if you didn't know that you have a gift, this message for you. And if you know that you have a gift and you're not unwrapping it, this message is for you. And if you know you did, that you have a gift and that you're not unwrapping it, you need to start unwrapping your gift. Amen? Amen. Before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this came thinking up for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day at life today. I just can't thank you enough for all the doors that you're opening up for us right now today. I just can't thank you enough because you're making a way out of no way for us right now today, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy. I just can't thank you enough for the gift that you endowed in every last one of your children. How you making a room for that gift. Because we're unwrapping our gift each and every day. I just can't thank you enough for your love. I just can't thank you enough for your protection. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. That's why I always praise you the way I do. That's why I glorify you the way I do. That's why I praise you the way I do. Because I just can't thank you enough for who you are. I just can't thank you enough for what you have done. I just can't thank you enough because you died on the cross for every last one of our sins. I just can't thank you enough because you carry every last one of our sins on your back. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy name. Glory, glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to John chapter 3. And we're going to read verse 16. That's John chapter 3. And we're going to read verse 16. And if you have your Bibles open. And ready to receive it. Shout out Amen. Amen. Let's begin. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So God so loved the world, he gave his only, his only son, his only beautiful son, his only precious son. Right there, God sent, sent us a gift. And his gift was his only son. God sent me a gift. He sent you a gift, my brothers. He sent you a gift, my sisters. And his gift was his only his son. His beautiful son. His handsome son. He sent us a gift. 
And that gift is Jesus. Jesus is inside of you. God is Jesus. Jesus is God. They are the same one. They are the same person. And if you don't believe so, you need to open up your Bible. It will tell you that. It will tell you that. John 17, 21. Jesus and God are the same. So, when God sent his own begotten son, he sent you a gift. As long that you believe in him, as long that you believe in him on a daily basis, he the one living inside of you. So there's a gift inside of you right now. There's a gift inside of you that's living right now. There's a gift inside of you right now that you need to use because God sent this only gift to you. Not for you to be working at no job for 73 or 8 to 5 to 9 to 5. He sent you a gift. And that gift that he sent you, nobody can take that gift away from you. All you have to do is use that gift. All you got to do is unwrap that gift. And the word of God said in Proverbs 18, 16, that he will make room for that gift. Not that he'll make room for a college education. Not that he said he'll make room for a job that you're working for 7 to 3 or 8 to 5 or 9 to 5. He said he'll make room for that gift. Why do you think he made room for that gift? Because that's something that he endowed in every last one of his children. That is a promise that you got, that you have from God. Every last one of us have a gift. And the only way that you're going to know what that gift is, you're going to have to spend time with Jesus. You're going to have to spend time with him. He's inside of you right now. He's living inside of you right now today, my brothers. He's living inside of you right now today, my sisters. So if you didn't know that you have a gift, you have a gift. And that gift is inside of you right now. As long as you're living right now, and that you're breathing, your, your gift is living and your gift is breathing right now. Do yourself a favor right now and start unwrapping your gift. Because that's something that God gave you, but some of y'all don't even use your gift. It is right there inside of you. You didn't gotta go, you only have to go far inside of you. If you believe, if you really, really believe in Jesus, the way that you say that you believe in him, start using your gift. It's right there inside of you. And for the ones who are using your gift, you continue to use your gift. Because the word of God says he will make room for that gift. That's another promise. So you got two promises already. That's going for you right now. You have a gift that's living inside of you. Then you got a gift that he'll make room for. Man, I don't know about y'all, man. That right there should move you. Because when I realized that I had a gift, it took me a long time. But when I realized I had a gift and the gift was living inside of me, Man, I've been unwrapping my gift ever since then. Man, I'm not, I would never stop unwrapping my gift because the word of God has promised me that he will make room for that gift. He didn't say he'd make room for no college education. He didn't say he'd make room for no for me working at no job because God didn't do that. He didn't leave and die for us for to be working at no job for 7 to 3 to 8 to 5, whatever work schedule that you have. He wants you to use your gift. He want to bless you. He want to give you something. That's why he's living inside of you. That's why that gift is still living inside of you right now. He want to do something with that gift. That's something precious. Didn't God leave us something precious? Yes. He left. He gave us his son. His only son. Man, I don't know about y'all, man. This, this thinking about this. It just moved my spirit each and every day. No matter what. And I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. I want to encourage every last one of my brothers and my sisters right now. Use that gift that God has inside of you. It's living inside of you right now. It's breathing inside of you right now. That gift will not go away. Long that you live in, long that you breathing, that gift will still be inside of you. Quit making up excuses. Quit looking at everybody else what they have. How you think they got what they have? Because they use that gift. It's already a promise. That promise was inside of you before you before you even came to this world. When using your mother's womb, you had a gift. The gift is already endowed in your spirit from the beginning. Your parents don't know your gift. Only you have to know your gift. And how you gonna know your gift? You gonna have to spend time with Jesus on a regular basis. Once you start spending time with Him on a regular basis, He's gonna show you the gift that He has inside inside of you. It's right there. Why don't you do yourself a favor and spend time with him so you can know what your gift is. Don't let your gift go to waste. Don't sit down and look at your gift and don't use it. 
It don't make any sense. He, he want to bless you. He want to give you something. That's why he died for. That's why he carried every last one of our sins for. Because of that. Because of that. Do you ask think that God would have sent his, gave his only begotten son for us? No, he did that for a reason. He did that for a reason. He did it for you, my sister. He did it for you today, my brothers. Unwrap your gift. Keep unwrapping it. It's room for that gift. That's a promise for that. It's room for that gift. Whatever your gift is, it is room for it. God said he will make room for it. I mean, it's unlimited space. It don't matter if a hundred million people got to doing the same thing that you're doing. Jesus still saying he's going to make room for it. Come on, man. Y'all need to give him the thanks and praise and glory for that right now. It don't matter how many people is you doing the same thing that you were doing. God said that he will make room for your gift. Man, glory and hallelujah. Come on, man. Give him the praise right now. Give him the glory right now. He said he's going to make room for your gifts. So it don't matter how many people are trying to do the same thing that you're doing. As long as you're wrapping your gift, Jesus is going to make room for you. Period. He's going to make room for you. Every day I'm in this room. It don't matter if somebody's looking at these videos or not. I'm still going to wrap my gift because this is the gift that God endowed with me and nobody can take that away. This is some person that he gave me. And I'm so glad. That's why I can't thank him enough. Because he could have gave this gift to anybody else. But he chose me. He chose Mr. LT. And even he don't need my help, but he still chose me. He still gave me a chance and opportunity each and every day. And every day that he gave me another day to live, another day to breathe, I'm going to wrap this gift each and every day. Because I am so thankful. I am so grateful. I'm so honored. And I'm so blessed that he chose me and allowed me to minister in his ministry because it's his. He just lent it to me. And I'm so glad that he endowed this gift inside of me. And nobody can take it away. Nobody. The gift that God got inside of you today, my sisters, nobody can take it away. The gift that he having endowed you today, my brothers, nobody can take it away. Start unwrapping your gift so God can make room for it right now today. Quit being lazy. Quit being stubborn. Quit looking at everybody else. Quit looking at the rich and famous, and you can be rich and famous yourself. You got a gift. You got a gift. It's inside of you. Jesus is inside of you right now. He's breathing inside of you. He's living inside of you, if you believe. Because I believe, and I know he can do all things through Christ. And I believe there's nothing too hard for him. I know that he can do it, because everything is possible when you believe. And I believe in Jesus, because Jesus is God, and God is Jesus. They are the same ones, and I am so happy and so blessed. And I'm going to continue to unwrap my gift each and every day in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Glory right now. Give him the praise right now and give him the glory. My brothers and sisters, before I close, I just want to encourage every last one of y'all right now. I want y'all really just think about it. exactly what I'm saying. Look what it's saying right here. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only his one and only. God gave everybody a gift. And that gift was his only son. Now you're going to tell me that's more precious than anything. He gave you something precious. He gave you something valuable. He gave you something you can't even put a price tag on. He gave you a gift. And that gift is living inside of you right now. Speak to your gift. Pray over your gift. Protect your gift. Unwrap your gift. Please do yourself a favor. Start unwrapping your gift today. If you haven't started, I want to encourage y'all to start unwrapping your gift. If you don't know what your gift is, spend time with him on a daily basis. He's going to show you that perfect gift, the endowed gift that he has inside of you. It's living right now. It's breathing right now. It's not an old machine. It's inside of you breathing right now. It's inside of you living right now. If nobody ever told you that, you have one. You have a gift. Amen? Amen. And before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus. If I was praying a simple little prayer, 
that God is already working everything out in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.alt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' holy name. Amen.